Hello and welcome to this very special interaction that I have that I have with sports today. Today, this individual has been in Ireland for over a decade. He has seen the cricketing landscape in Ireland change when he was a youngster, and now he's a veteran. When he started his career, he was a young left-arm pacer, but thankfully for the cricketing world, he evolved into one of the best left-arm spinners that had to come out of Ireland. Today, as he plays, he's now 93 T20 years old, and as he gears up for this all-important series against India, I have with me George Dockrell. Thank you so much, George, for taking time out and interacting with us today in Sports Today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, George, over 12 years, 93 T20s, you have seen cricket in Ireland evolve from a very mature stage, becoming world beaters. and now you are in such a stage where you regularly qualify for icc world events how has the journey been for you yeah it's been pretty incredible um i suppose in my time with the irish team you know not only irish cricket but i think cricket itself has changed so much um you know, the game keeps moving which is always incredibly exciting um and to have been part of that journey with ireland from you know 2010 and and from all those world cups um you know one day cricket and t20 and an ireland's first and um, tests you know uh, adventure as well it, it's been incredible and um, to watch it all develop so it's been very very exciting and, and i feel very lucky to have been part of all you're the third most experienced player in the irish setup currently but recently just yesterday william porterfield announced his retirement from international cricket share your thoughts about will and how he was such an influence in the irish team i mean you're you played entirely almost under william so How do you recollect recollect your memories with William Porterfield? Yeah, look, William has probably been one of the greatest servants ever uh, for Irish cricket. You know, to captain Darlan for as long as he did, and um, you know, successfully as he did as well, was a huge testament to him. And um, you know, a big part of what people may not have seen was his passion, his commitment, his work ethic, um, and that drive he had towards making Irish cricket better, um, and not just for himself. But for the greater good, I think, um, and he was someone who, when I first came into the Irish team, you know, you get to play alongside those guys, train alongside them, uh, and I know I wouldn't be the cricketer I am today without having had those presences alongside me uh, in those early years. So, you know, I can't speak highly enough of William and, and what he's done for Irish cricket. Um, it's been an incredible journey for him, um, and look, I'm sure he'll be very successful in, in whatever comes next. Now, will the series, the two uh, two match series that begins on twenty sixth and twenty eighth against India, unfortunately, in your last encounter that you had with them, the two matches in Malahai, twenty eighteen, you didn't pick up a wicket, unfortunately. But in this series now, looking at the Indian cricket team, who do you fancy bowling to the most? Who do you think you'll be very excited to bowl to once that batsman comes? You you may have seen the team sheet, so. Who are you fancying your chances against? Any particular Indian batsman that you would love to bowl and get him out to bowl? I think the beauty of international cricket these days now is is how stacked all the lineups are. So I think you know, looking at the teams you play against, you know, every single batter that comes in is is a prize wicket. Is is someone you want to be getting out? And and I think just competing sometimes against the best in the world is is in itself such a challenge. So you know, any time I get the ball, regardless of who who it is we're playing against, it's always a, a huge opportunity to to, to play your part and. And try and pick up some wickets. So again, I think look any any of that team who you come up against and um, looking to get some wickets will uh, I'll be pretty happy. I think. Okay, so this Indian cricket team currently has no Virat Kohli, no Rohit Sharma, no Jasprit Bumrah in the playing eleven for the time being. Are you kind of uh, is Ireland and all the fans disappointed that India is not sending a full strength squad? to play ireland what are your sentiments because of the packed international calendar do you think two teams playing uh, separately and simultaneously is the norm going forward yeah look it's it's very interesting and again cricket is changing in that sense that we're seeing a lot more often where where teams have to split up those squads and and you know become a lot more specific in terms of which players they want to play which format um again you know look at this indian team and that squad that's coming over you know they're all world class all world beater play all world beaters in, in in the team so i think um you know when you have the caliber of player coming across i suppose it's not something we'd think too much about we you know there's still going to be an incredible challenge come up against you know that attack and and bowling to that batting lineup um and so for us again it's just relishing that challenge to play against some of the best of the world 
Okay, so there is okay if Virat, Rohit, Jaspreet are not there, this Indian cricket team, do you think still has the depth to even challenge the best team in the world, according to you? I think so. Look, and I guess there's been a lot of um, you know cricket that these guys have had in terms of this India squad. You know, the IPL is incredibly um, high standard of cricket, probably the best league in the world, and and therefore having that, you know, as your you know backyard for for growing your players. I think a lot of those cricketers come out of India with. You know, such a huge amount of experience that, that other nations maybe don't have that same level um, of breeding ground. So, you know, you have these, these guys coming out, having had a lot of IPL cricket under their belt, playing against, you know, the best in the world. Um, and so I think, you know, that allows you to, to, to grow that talent pool and, and play those concurrent squads around the world at the same time. Um, and I don't think there's any drop off in, in the standard of cricket that you see. Hardik Pandya is going to captain the Indian team now. So... Did you see a lot of Hardik's captaincy in the IPL? Did you see his performances? Did Has the Irish team made note of all the players that are there and what are your plans that's going to be against them? Yeah, look, Hardik obviously had a huge amount of success recently. Um, and I know he got a lot of you know plaudits for, for how calm he was and how he went about, uh, went about that captaincy. So, look, as always with all teams, we'll be doing our analysis on, on you know, the style of play and the different players we come up against. Um, you have to be aware these days, you know, of what that is, what the game plans look like for each player, and um, whether that's with the bat or with the ball. Um, and we'll make sure we do do our homework. And then, you know, again, the big part is always making sure that you can then execute your own skills um, for, for those plans. So, look, we'll be very prepared coming into, into that series and then make sure we do do our homework. Okay, so the final question, George, that I want to ask is, Ireland have secured qualification for the ICC World T20 in Australia. But the worrying aspect was that you lost in the final of the qualifiers to the UAE, unfortunately. So, what are your plans now? Like, do you focus bilateral series wise, or do you always have one eye on the world, world T20? Like they say in cricket, you can't think too far ahead, you can't think too far back. So, how do you manage to go about it? Yeah, look, we've been exciting summer of cricket um, here in Ireland with, with a number of series against some top teams. So for us, it'll just be trying to, you know, enjoy and, and learn as much as we can this summer and get ourselves in a good place. And, you know, very cliche, but it always starts game by game and series by series. Um, so look, we, we, we've got the squad for this first India series, these two games, um, and we'll be doing our best over the next you know week or 10 days to, to be ready for that match. Um, and for those two games, and then we take it from there. So I think it's very much so, you know, that it's a long way away and, and, and probably bigger for us is, is concentrating on these big games because, look, it's a huge game for us. You know, last time we had India over, it was, you know, two sell-out crowds and then two couple of decent days of cricket. And um, so we're hoping for more of the same and hopefully we can, um, you know, put together a good show. Okay, George, thank you so much for taking time out and interacting with us. So the India versus Ireland 2 T20 series begins on 26th and the 28th. For all you English fans, you can watch the game on Sony 6. For all you Hindi fans, you can watch it on Sony 10.3. And for Tamil and Telugu, you can watch it on Sony 10.4. The games begin at 9pm IST, folks. Thank you.